Today in the boot guy, we are looking at the Beckett Seminon, the Columbus dress boot. So for all you subscribers out there of the Boot Guy Reviews, it's probably the first time that you're seeing me really talk about one of these made to order dress boots. So Beckett Simonon has contacted me, asked me to do a review of their boots. Like anything that's a dress boot, I'm really not that comfortable when it comes to talking about it from a dress standpoint because I'm not the kind of guy that puts on extremely expensive clothes for anything. I'm still a kind of a blue collar working guy at best, but I do understand footwear. I do understand the materials used in order to build the footwear. And I do understand what it means to have a really comfortable boot. So right out of the box, the first thing about the Columbus boot is it is more so of an everyday boot than any dress boot I've ever held, picked up or looked at, mainly because of a real rubber sole. And it's just not a thin little layer. Beckett Simonon just didn't throw a little tiny piece of rubber down there. They've got a good half inch chunk of rubber on the bottom of this thing and a good half inch on the heel. This is a boot that's made for somebody that needs something that is gonna look good, be dependable, and that they can wear every single day. And they're not worried about a little rain. They're not worried about a little slush or something like that because they know that they're gonna have traction and they're gonna be able to actually walk in the thing. All right, so let's talk about the leather and the construction. We, we covered the sole. Let's look at this leather. The leather, outstanding, beautifully finished. Every single piece of this boot is beautifully finished. You can tell that the cobblers that they're hiring in Colombia in order to build this boot have spent a lot of time making high-end boots and shoes. They're not skipping any steps. They understand how to use a nice, fine, thin stitch all the way through the boot. Rough, most of the time in leather boots like this and stuff that falls on this price range, I have to say the Beckett Simmons price range is probably the strongest thing about picking up a pair of these that you're not paying 500, 600, 700 dollars for a pair of quality boots. You're actually getting this in in a very affordable price range. But the cobblers, the guys building it, these guys are doing a really good job. Their cuts are clean, their stitches are clean. They're not letting machines run out of thread in the middle of building a pair of boots. They know how to handle the equipment and it shows the finished product is outstanding. So inside the boot, it is fully lined with a very soft calfskin leather all the way around the boot, through the vamp, through the toe, through the heel. The heel is actually reinforced with an extra piece of calfskin back there. So if you are one of those guys with a pointed heel, you're not going to wear through the heel section prematurely. It's a very nice touch added to the boot. Now it's a full leather insole that is not removable by nature. Now if you wanted to dig it up and pull it out, you could, but I would not suggest it. Something that they send along with that I was really impressed with and I think most people are going to overlook this as more of a comfort thing instead of a size thing because they are making just basic sizes on these things. They're sending along a very thin insole. Now this thin insole you should not confuse this with a comfort insole. What this insole is going to allow you to do is put it inside your boot and wear it more often. It's not about comfort, it's about, it's about taking up the space that happens when you put on extremely thin dress socks. Now, if you wanna wear this boot with heavier socks, I would say break it in with heavier socks. But when it comes time for the thin dress socks, just throw the insole in. It's gonna take up the space that is usually occupied by the socks. So about the leather and the color, the color is tan. Even though it looks like a deep cognac or something like that, they call it a tan. And yes, it's two different leather patterns and that's something that really stands out for me. This nice, smooth lower quarter of the boot is beautiful. It can be shined, can be oiled, however you choose to take care of your boots, the smoother leather is going to be able to handle that. The upper part, the boot part, 
tumbled leather. Now that, now when I saw this for the first time, only in photographs, I was like kind of iffy about it. I truly was. And then when I saw them in person, I was blown away. That's a really nice look. That really goes back to that early time, that vintage era when boots still had a little bit of that artist quality to them. Using the two different leathers really accentuates that point. Now size and fit, out of the box. I was really happy with just getting my regular size, a 12D. They fit great, they're, they know what they're doing. The arch is in the right place, the heel's in the right place. There's enough room in my toes that I feel like I can break the boot in, but I'm still comfortable wearing it for a full day when it's brand new. Probably the only issue I had was adjusting the laces throughout the day, was just kind of making it a little bit looser as my day progressed and as it happens to everybody, your feet swell up a little bit as time progresses, as the heat progresses, as your consumption of alcohol progresses, your feet are gonna start to swell. So, loosening up the laces, allowing that boot to breathe a little bit, the Beckett Simon and Columbus was a really great fit. Now, a real stand-up move that happened in the box was not only the dust bags that they send along, but an extra pair of laces. This is really nice. I like to see this in more of the dress casual type boots like this. I would like to see these little extra steps taken because steps like this are really gonna make the company shine. All right, so you're probably wondering about this ordering process. Yeah, it's eight to 12 weeks on day of order to day of picking them up. But Beckett Simmons was really, really good about emailing me updates, about getting back to me. As long as you've got your order number, they can actually let you know where along the progress your shoe or boot is. And that's a pretty nice touch. Compared to some of the other companies that fall into a much higher price scale, you email them, you wait five, six, seven days before they say that they don't know where your boot's at. Beckett Simmons right back to me within the hour. And I love that about that. that. That type of customer service is only something that can be achieved in this digital age, as long as everybody's got their numbers lined up.
So just a little bit more about the boot. What you got to remember is that the Columbus is a heavy duty boot because of the rubber sole, because of the leather midsoles, and because of the heavy duty leather used in the upper and this tumbled leather. This thing is a heavy duty boot. This is not a lightweight boot. This thing is made to take some abuse as far as a dress boot can take abuse when I say that. I mean, you're not going to kick shovels and go climb ladders and stuff like that in this, but you are going to have a pair of boots if you've got to spend all day on your feet at a conference or if you're walking around and if you're actually putting in five to 10 miles on your feet, this is the type of boot you want to have on your foot if you've got to stick in that casual dress realm. You want something that is actually built for that type of wear. So that's the Columbus boot made to order by Beckett Simmons. If you're currently wearing anything from Beckett Simmons, please comment below and let other guys know what you think about their shoes and their boots. Hey, if you wanna see some of the beautiful detailed photos I took of this boot, so you can see what the inside looks like, so you can see what the outside looks like, so you can see about the beautiful welts and how they actually know how to put a welt together, swing by to bootguy.com. I will have a detailed blog posting all about the construction and all about the boot, and I'll also have those photographs there waiting for you. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it really helps out. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter all week long when I get beautiful boots like this. I take them out in the wild. I shoot them against interesting backdrops and I put them out there so we can discuss them. Also, if you like these videos and if you like the Boot Guy Reviews channel, think about supporting me on Patreon. Hey, if you're about to order a pair of these or anything from the company and you just want a little bit different opinion about the construction and about the boot and you just got some questions about size and fit, about stuff that you've worn in the past and how it's going to compare to actually their sizing scale, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.